Good morning. It's June the 1st. It's Tuesday morning. It's a beautiful day, and I hope that you're having a good morning. Today we go back to uh, the Lord's Prayer. Give us this day our daily bread. That part of the prayer refers to an Old Testament story that's pretty familiar to most of us. It's in the book of Genesis, after the people have left, um, no, it's in the book of Exodus, I'm sorry, Exodus, after they've left Egypt, and they're wandering in the wilderness, and they get hungry. They don't have enough food. They've come from a place where they could grow food, and there was food available to this wilderness place where there isn't any food. They can't find uh, animals to kill. There's no farming and they begin to complain. And Moses says to the Lord God, what do we do now? And God says, watch this. And the next morning, the Israelites, you know, come out of their tents. And there's stuff on the ground. And they say, in Hebrew, mana, which is simply, what's this? What's this stuff? Well, they call it manna. And it is uh, a, a thing, a, a that they can eat. No one knows exactly what it was, um, but it's some kind of crusty stuff that's on the ground, and they can pick it up and eat it. And they can eat it all day. They can make get enough every morning for that day. The day before the Sabbath, they can get enough for two days. If they try to keep it overnight, though, most days it spoils. And um, so they have to depend on God each day for this bread stuff um, and God miraculously feeds them he also sends quail in abundance and they're able to uh, trap and kill the quail to eat so they have some meat um, but the prayer says give us this day our daily bread just like you did back in the wilderness God you fed them every day so give us food now, some people pray that prayer quite literally. Give me something to eat, Lord. I don't have anything to eat. Other people, like us, most of us have plenty to eat. Uh, we eat more than we should. We don't eat the right stuff, but, you know. So, what are we praying for? We're praying for God to sustain us through the day. Give us our daily bread. Give us what we need. And Jesus says, of course he will. Of course God will give you what you need. Because God loves you. And God wants you to thrive. And he is going to feed you. Um, another way to read that is to think of daily bread as, as spiritual bread. Um, give us our daily uh, spiritual, our daily dose of the Holy Spirit, if you will. Um, let us read the scripture and find something in there for today. Uh, so whatever you do, whatever your practices are, you'll find that there's something there for you. You're fed uh, each day. And you don't have to worry about tomorrow or next week. You just worry about today. And that's one of Jesus' teachings. You don't worry so much about what are you going to do in 20 years or 50 years, you're, you're going to be okay today and, and tomorrow will take care of itself. Uh, so live in the day, live in the moment, live today and let's worry about tomorrow in the morning. There's some real good truth there. Uh, we don't always have to be quite so uh, devil may care about it all. Sometimes we do need to plan ahead, but for the most part, um, we're going to be okay. And so let us pray, give us our daily bread, O God, and he will. See you tomorrow.